Today I'm going to show you how to start one solution when another solution ends. This is a common scenario, especially when you're doing data migrations and you're dealing with large volumes of data, because those jobs can take a lot of time, number one, and number two, they can depend on each other. A good example is moving accounts and contacts from one CRM system to another, because you need to have all the accounts present in the new system before you start moving contacts. Otherwise, you can't create all the linkages that you need between the contacts and the accounts that they belong to. So I've logged into my Scribe Online organization, and you see I've got two solutions here, one called Migrate Accounts and another called Migrate Account Contacts, and I'm going to use these two solutions to show you what I mean. I'll start by looking at the Migrate Contacts solution because I need the solution ID um, in order to run, run it from the end of the first solution. So I'm going to go to the address bar here and I'll just copy everything that follows that solution ID equals. I'm going to copy that and use that in my uh, other solution. Now I'll go back to manage, migrate accounts. You see I've got a very simple map here that does the account migration. It, it connects to my Granite State CRM system and it has a simple query that pulls back the accounts from Granite State CRM. And then I haven't built out the map completely. I just have a comment block here saying that, that I would be building something that would migrate those accounts to the new system. That's not important for this demo, so I didn't, didn't build that all out. Then the second map is the one that's going to start the migrate contact solution. So if I open that up, another very simple map, all it's going to do is use the Scribe Platform API connector to go and get the information about the migrate contact solution. And this is where I'm going to use that solution ID. So if I open up the filter tab, I can add a new filter here. And I want to say for my query, I want to bring back only solutions where the ID equals this value that I copied from the address bar of the other solution. I'll validate that. looks good. So now I can click OK. That ensures that the only solution that comes back from my query is going to be just that one that I want to call at the end of this one. And then uh, this loop is only going to go through one time, and it's going to call the command. Um, it's going to use the command block from the Scribe Platform API connector to start the migrate contact solution. And I'll uh, show you how that works as well. Um, that operation only has two fields that you need to put in. In fact, only one field that you need because if you leave the organization ID blank, it's going to use the default organization that you have configured in that connection. So here all I've done is I've referenced the solution ID from the query block and uh, using that in my call to, in order to start that solution when, when I run this map. Okay, so that's how that map works. And then go back to our other solution. And here, all we're doing, again, is a, a very simple map that is getting the contacts from my Granite State CRM system and then going through and migrating those contacts to some new CRM system, which I haven't built out that part of the map. And then for convenience, because Migration jobs can take a long time. I've created a second map in here that is going to let me know when that contact migration has completed. So I'm starting again with a query block for my Scribe organization um, connection, which is just the platform API connector linked up to my organization. And this is really just the same query that I had before. It's going to get back that information about the solution that we're running right now. And, and then I'm using the SMTP connector to send myself an email when the um, other map has finished running. So that other map might take 10 hours to run. Once it's done, this map is going to run and it's going to send me an email. And then I've got a, a simple message in here that just tells me that the solution named X, which I think is create or migrate contacts, has completed and then I'll get an email. I don't have to wait around for that to finish. All right, so that's how it's all set up. Why don't we try it out 
and see if we can get this to work. So I'm going to go back to Migrate Contacts. I'm going to um, go ahead and click the Run button. That's going to start my solution going. And now I see down in the execution history at the bottom, uh, it's in progress. It won't take long to run because it really is just a query. Uh, it'll come back saying that it processed 32 records. That's now complete. And if I go back over to the Migrate Contact solution, I should see that start to run next because, of course, the, the last map in that first solution is going to call the second solution. There it is. Um, and it ran so fast that uh, we didn't even see it starting or processing. It was only two records, so it, it just shows up as completed successfully. So that's how you start one solution when another starts, another solution ends. Thanks so much for watching.